News at 10 on TV20 Detroit. First at 10, one of Michigan's most decorated high school coaches suddenly resigns. And with that out tonight, it's because he slapped a player. Simon Chiquette kicks off our top 10 at 10 tonight, live from Bloomfield Hills. Simon? Yes, we're talking about a coach who is known for winning games, but in this case, he lost his temper and then he lost his job. Basketball is a voluntary activity. In the movie Hoosiers, Gene Hackman plays a troubled basketball coach who tries making a comeback after crossing the line. And if you feel you don't want to be on a team, feel free to leave right now. But Hollywood fiction has become reality for now former Bloomfield Hills varsity coach Dwayne Graves. In an exclusive interview, you'll see only on seven, the father of a varsity player talks about an incident that's led to scandal. He says it involves Coach Graves going way out of bounds, slapping his son after an argument at practice Wednesday. The sophomore guard not hurt, but bothered enough to speak up. What did your son say to you? How did you find out? I mean, you know, he came and just told me what happened. You know, I just really don't really want to talk about it right now. Less than 24 hours after the slapping incident, the district confirms Coach Graves submitting his resignation. After 10 years with the district, five as varsity coach. The man who almost led them to a state title last year, no longer part of the program. The 2014 M Live Coach of the Year, disgraced to the dismay of parents just learning the news. So I'm just very, very surprised. Um, the team seemed to be playing very well. A second incident the same day also allegedly involved the former coach touching another player's hair, then calling it, quote, nappy. The district condemning what happened in both cases despite the coach's apologies. Parents will be receiving a letter in the mail, and we've learned the freshman team coach is now taking over the team. The school is a good school and everything. It was just a situation that went bad, you know. It just wasn't appropriate. Tonight, I reached the coach by phone. He chose not to comment. Now, coming up at 11 on 7, we'll tell you what the player who was slapped plans to do next. Live in Bluefield Hills, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.